so yeah, what we're gonna do is go in and draw all of our lines in. Um, and let's go to Window Model Info Units. Again, the we started with a canvas scan. So we're, we're given the model that has these settings in it. And I mean, you could almost make the argument that I should just start with my own template and import this in. But for now, I'm gonna go with like, I think I'll go with decimal and we're gonna set it to feet because that's what we're seeing here. So you can see like our elevations, our spot grade elevations are set up 54, 72.3, and then everything else just kind of, you know, calling out that 70, uh, you know, leaving out the 54. So what I'm gonna do is set my units to be decimal feet, which matches this so that I can just type in 74.2. And display resolution and all that, I don't know if it really matters for what we're doing right this second, but I just have a habit now of um, always dialing that way up and I don't like length snapping. I'd prefer to type it in. And so that's how I kind of want this to look for now. All right, then I'm gonna zoom way in here and I'm looking for the corner. Okay, so we'll say, we're gonna call this 74.1. So you can see like as I zoom in, there's my corner. I'll tap the up arrow key and then I'm gonna type 74.1 enter like that. All right, so now there's a line that exists that's at you know 74.1 and what we're gonna need is, is that endpoint up there. All right, so like I said, this is gonna get a little tedious. I'm just gonna work through here and we're gonna do 73.8 like that. And I'm just gonna go through and plot all these different points. doing a quick scan see if I missed anything I think that that's gonna be pretty good when I was actually doing this project I just kind of started here because I was like um, you know I I just got going and I was being probably like a lot of us where I wasn't watching uh, the tutorials but anyways then you know, I like I got through it and then I realized like, oh, I need guide points to make Topo Shaper do what I want it to do. So this got me going down another rabbit hole with uh, chat GPT. And so what I did is I said, you know, write me a plugin, a SketchUp plugin that adds endpoints to edges, uh, make it simple so I can paste in the Ruby console like that. And came up with something for me and on the first rip, it worked. Now we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna copy this code. So we're gonna select all this and then we're gonna go to extensions, developer, Ruby console, and then paste like that. So not too shabby, right? Pretty crazy that, uh, you know, then I could like, I could group and hide those and then I could like group those and then perhaps I would invert my selection down there and delete them. So now we are in a place where we can use Topo Shaper. I think it's available at Sketchucation. I'm just gonna run through it the way that I do it. You guys can uh, kind of, Poke fun in, in the comments if you like. So uh, I'm gonna right click on any toolbar and we're going to open Topo Shaper. And we'll get rid of that for now. And with Topo Shaper, uh, we're gonna start with this like uh, tri-mesh terrain like that. Oh God, here we go. Um, and then you know, I've seen like the gentleman whose tutorial I was watching was, uh, you know, best rectangle, best fitting rectangle. He dialed up the roundness a bit and uh, we're going to want ISO contours and we're going to want them at like, I guess a lot of them. So maybe we'll like, you know, every half foot like that. And then you hit play and then you get something. 
and then we're gonna hit exit tool all right that went way better than i expected it to go i'm gonna save so now we've got our contour line so it's my understanding that you first use uh, generate tri-mesh terrain cloud along with the contour lines and then you move on to generating a quad mesh which is what is much easier to work with you know again uh, you go for like a working view like this this is one of those tools that I just never really got into all the different I, I think this one's a little bit simpler we'll just hit calculate terrain and you could mess with your grid Although when I look at this, I'm fairly satisfied with the grid as it is. I think we're good there. You know, you can mess with like whether you, you flatten or round the hilltops, I suppose. Everything really looks pretty good to me. And I'll hit generate mesh like that. And so now um, we've got our terrain.